everyone welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you how to make ingati cake yes so let's get started so these are the ingredients i've been using very simple ingredients just these two main ingredients so in my blender this blender is actually old i normally like to use it for spices and stuff like this so all i'll just do is to pour in my granules then i'll start blending so this granite is just one cup yes so i'm using one cup for this recipe you can use more yes if you are going into business you can use more yes so this my blender wants to mess me up but hey i got it so all i'll just do now is to blend it it i don't need it to be smooth it should be roughly smooth something like that yes i don't need it to be smooth yes Hey, it's, it's as if I don't know how to fix this blender anymore. But anyway, yeah, I've got it. Yeah, so it went off, so I had to try to do it. Yeah, so what I'll do now is to just blend. So you have to shake, shake, shake. So the ones that have not blended well, blend. So that's all you just be doing. Yes, so it is getting there. So at this point, we've gotten to the point we are looking for. So all I'll just do now is to open it up for you to see. So this is okay. It's not perfectly blended. It's just roughly, something roughly blended, yeah. Yes, my hands are washed though. Yes so let's go to the fire top so what you'll be seeing next is the fire top yeah yes so this is our frying pan so all i'll just do is to add my half cup of sugar yes so all i'll just do now is to go in and so what the, what i'm aiming at is to make sure this melts properly yes then i'll just go in and add my my granite my blended granite so the aim is to just make this melt so all i'll just do is to keep on mixing so i'm doing making this on a medium high yes it shouldn't be too high so that your sugar wouldn't get burnt so you keep on mixing you keep on mixing till it melts the sugar melts completely yes if you can see closely you can see that it has already started melting yes yes so as you can see it is melting completely yes so you keep on stirring it melts you cannot be able to see any sugar yeah that's what we are aiming at to make sure it melts completely yes so at this point what i'll just do is to go in and add my blended granite i didn't want to do 
dishes so that's why you can see that i'm using the same um blender cup that i used in blending so all you just do now is to go in and mix So for the sugar you can add more yeah but for me i think this was okay for us we didn't want to consume too much sugar yeah so this was okay it was perfect so you keep on mixing till everything comes together perfectly well Yes, so this is what you need. It was already started, it has already started over browning, but this is the point you need. So you turn off your fire. Yeah, it's ready now. It's very ready, ready, ready. Please don't over mix because if you over mix, it will separate, and that is not what you are looking for. So let's go to our work surface. Yeah, yes, yeah, so this is all you need. So this is our wooden board. So all I just did is to oil the surface. Yes, I've oiled the surface and I oiled my knife and this rolling pin. So all I'll just do now is to transfer this on my work surface. Yes, so make sure to scoop everything, all the extra on the wooden stick. Make sure to remove everything. Yeah, because you don't want to waste. Yes, so all I'll just do now is you need to work fast because else this will dry out on you. And you don't want that so so you just roll out oh sh i'll start again so you just roll out it's hot so you have to be very careful yes yeah, so It's hot. Bear that in mind. So all you just do is you roll it, roll it. Yes, today. So the reason why we oil our surface is because we don't want it to get stuck to the board. You get yeah. So this is what we are looking for. So all I'll just do now is to take my knife to just cut. Yes, to shape it. To the desired size I want it to be. Yeah. So you have to work fast, like I said earlier, so that it wouldn't get hard on you. So at this point, all I'll just do now, it has dry out well. So on my board. I'll just cut it off. So let me get my scissors. So I'll just use my scissors to cut it. It's still hot, oh, but it's still very hot. The scissors is going to help me to do the job beautifully. It's very hot, guys. But irrespective of that, you have to still work fast because you don't want it to dry out on you. So the scissors is really doing a great job, guys. So like I said, please 
don't allow it to stay on the fire for too long and use medium high medium high heat or if possible if you are just a beginner and you are not too sure just use a low heat yes use a low heat for it so that you will not get bent or in a case whereby it will scatter I'm just tasting it would they work the chop oh hmm. mm -mm -mm. This is so nice guys. You need to try it out. Yeah, so this is it. So I'll set this aside. Yes, yeah, so this is it. Look at how beautiful they are. This is how it's normally cut to be sold. So this is it guys thank you so so much for watching today's episode yes so please guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to hit the notification bell below so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified please don't forget that one day at a time is the best to meet in our next video please stay safe and bye